I just noticed this sweater on the floor. I fell asleep with it on. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome to the vlog. It is currently just after seven. This girl is tired still. It was a long day yesterday where I did not feel the greatest. I slept in a bit to 6.30 in an effort to like, I don't know, try to combat whatever the heck it is that is in my system and annoying me. But I did not sleep well and I was up quite a bit, so that's a lot of fun. Also last night, just before I was going to bed, so this was probably at about 10 or maybe just after, my phone rang and it was my friend calling from Ontario whom I haven't spoken to on the phone. She was saying that we've talked since June, but I don't think we've talked since before June, and we've only exchanged a couple texts in between because, like, life is busy and life is hard. Um, but she was drunk, and she decided to call me and didn't think I was, would answer. So then we had a nice, like, hour-long chat about things, and it was great. And I don't know if, like, I've mentioned it, but she's the friend that I met through writing Harry Potter fan fiction. So, like, I wrote a Harry Potter fan fiction and posted it online, and she read it, and she started messaging me. And in August, we'll have been friends for 10 years. <laughs> a weird world. We haven't met. We were talking about plans to meet last night because she's going on a like tour vacation package with another friend she's like you should come too and I was like eh, one if I go single or solo like I'll have to pay a lot more and two I feel like it'd be the third wheel and it'd be awkward and it wouldn't be fair to the other friends so I'm like yeah we'll see anyway I am awake now barely and I'm gonna start getting ready for the day, I suppose. I feel like today's gonna be a struggle, if we're being honest, but I need to stop chatting because it is like 10 after seven now, and I wanna like do something about this face and see if I can at least make myself not look like a zombie. So I'll feel like I'm not a zombie, and then hopefully this doesn't take too long to export because like I said, I slept in for like an extra half hour, even though not really. I had weird dreams last night though. They were blind channel dreams, probably because I was talking to one of my blind channel girls last night and then just other really strange dreams. Well, hello, I am here at the theater. I look exhausted because I am exhausted. I could not remove the zombie stains this morning, <laughs> the stains of me being a zombie. So it's, sh so let's see, arbitrary guess, six hours, we're gonna go six hours. <laughs> and um, I'm pretty tired, not gonna lie, I mean, I've just been kind of on the brink of burnout lately and I really should have napped yesterday. My body was telling me that I needed to nap and I didn't. And I'm sure I will regret that today, but we will see how it goes as the day goes on. I mean, if I'm dying, I'll just punk out of D&D uh, &D because that's a six hour endeavor that goes until like 10 o'clock at night and I do have to work again tomorrow. And it's very hard for me to call someone in to cover my position just based on my department and who I have working with me because it's a very casual position and so I get it people have lives people have other jobs so I just need to survive is what I need to do it is pretty chilly outside there was somebody throwing ice melter down when I was coming in there was a car that had gone off the road when <laughs> when we were coming in it seemed like everybody was okay there was nobody in the vehicle so we couldn't tell if it was the guy kind of walking around the vehicle with his dog that had been in the accident or not, but somebody else had stopped. So it's like, okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Crazy morning, that is for sure. But I should probably get to work because we know the sooner I get started, the sooner I can leave. But honestly, I'm just, I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just see how the day goes and see what we can accomplish. Alrighty, so I'm home from work now. It's two o'clock. I have, oh eaten lunch and my poor body is just in a lot of pain but I found out while I was at work that one of our techs in the middle of the show yesterday had to leave because he was having a heart attack what <laughs> it sounds like from the email I got that he may have been having the symptoms before he went to work um, but he seems he's in the hospital right now he's gonna be transported on Tuesday for tests to a bigger city but yeah, seems like he's all right now, but geez, that's crazy and scary. So 
yeah, well wishes to him that he gets better. I'm going to see if I can maybe go up and visit tomorrow or Sunday because he doesn't get moved till Tuesday. But yeah, so that's crazy. That was the crazy thing of my day. Other than that, it's been pretty chill. So I think it should remain a little bit chill. It is a two o'clock now. I texted my, or I emailed my boss yesterday about questions about invoicing. He's like, oh, we're all a little sick here. So I'll look into it. I'm like, if you're sick, take your time. It's fine. I can do it next week. Because <laughs> honestly, I just I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm just lazy. I need to prioritize it though, like for sure. As soon as I get an email back, I will prioritize that. But yeah, I am just, we're just going to get nice and cozy. I'm contemplating having a nap. I know I shouldn't, but, because I have so much stuff to do, but also I'm pretty tired. So I might have a nap, wake up, do my Japanese study, because I refuse to miss a day. Even though last month I had the realization that, hey, it's okay to set goals and not always achieve them but I'm stubborn. So I might do that and then go to D&D. &D. Yeah, so we'll see. I think I'll set an alarm just in case I do pass out and then um, yeah, go from there. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I ended up having a nap because as I said, I would because I was dying. So I feel much better now. It is just after four and I'm gonna be leaving here in like 10 minutes. So I need to get my button gear and get going. So I got redressed. I like changed my golf work and then I changed my top into my pajama top and now I'm back in a real top. <laughs> and yeah, so I need to put some socks on, a sweater, some shoes. I need to pack the snacks and the drinks. Like, I have a lot to do, so I probably shouldn't be sitting here talking, but it's fine. But I am plotting things. They're not exciting for you. But I have been plotting things, and one of the pieces of the puzzle has slotted into place, so that is fantastic. I'm a little out of it, I'm not gonna lie, because I, like, just woke up. So, well, like, probably oh, a while ago, because I laid in bed and, like, studied Japanese cue cards, because I'm like, I gotta get my Japanese study in. I would say I probably did, like, 25 minutes and not 30, but, and it was not a solid 30, because I was struggling, because it's in the words, characters, whatever, that I don't do so well with, but whatever. I still did it. I still did it, so we're taking it as a win. Anyways, I need to stop rambling, because time is a ticking, and I need to get going. <laughs> what else was I gonna say? I need to get Alrighty, so it is quarter to 11 and I just got home from d and I found out that my one friend ended up going fishing this morning with the chef from Blind Channel, which is like really random. <laughs> like, they just happened to know someone mutual, but it's so random. And so I texted the chef and I was like, whoa, dude. Anyway, so that's interesting, but I am home now. I obviously haven't done anything today. I napped, I worked, I napped. I did a little bit of Japanese study and, and like, we're a mess. It's fine though. I think I'm gonna putter for a little bit, start getting ready for bed, and see how we go. <laughs> All right, it is getting late. It is 11.30 and I should really be in bed. <laughs> for the last 45 minutes, I've just been contemplating booking flights and vacations. <laughs> which is terrible. I can't decide where I want to go is the problem. There's like, I have Australia on my list of like a place I want to go. And I have friends there and I have family there, but there's other places in the world that maybe I want to go and are a little bit cheaper. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide. There's a sale on right now too. So that is not helping things at all. Cause I'm like, well, I have to buy it now cause it's on sale. And like the difference is really, I mean, it is a difference. It's a couple hundred dollars, but it's not like a couple thousand dollars. So I don't know. I think the plan was to book by April if I wanted to go. So maybe I'll just keep thinking about it. I just, I can't decide. And that's the problem. It's like one place I'm really excited to go to. My friend yesterday invited me to come to Greece on a tour with her, but it's weird because she's already going with a friend. And I think that would just be awkward third wheeling. Um, so one place I'm really excited about going, one place is Greece that I'm like, mm, I don't think that's the right time. And another place is Australia. So, but then there's, there's other places in the world too. So anyways, we're just gonna keep thinking about it and almost booking flights, but not quite. <sighs> it is definitely time to go to sleep now. So with that, I'm going to say, thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and I'll see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. Good night.